Hello. Well, what do Nottingham, Bradford, Tokyo and Hong Kong, would you believe, all have in common? Well, they all use these little slips of plastic. Smart card ticketing systems. And now London's going to get its very own system. Oyster. Oyster cards, as they'll become known, have already been issued to replace staff passes. So some of you will already have used them for bus and tube journeys. You know how quick and easy it is for the readers to check the card and how much easier it makes life for you. But of course the introduction of Oyster card doesn't stop with staff. You got your cards before passengers got their cards so that you can feel comfortable using them. And this will make it much easier for you to help passengers when they get their cards. So what exactly is this little bit of plastic? Well, for a start, it has an intelligent silicon chip and a radio aerial embedded in it. The chip can store and process lots of information, which means that Oyster cards can be used for a whole range of tickets. And the radio aerial allows the card to be read without feeding it into a slot. If you already have an Oyster card, you'll know just how easy it is to use. The idea is you briefly touch the reader mounted on the bus or ticket gate. You don't even need to take it out of its wallet. The information on the card is read and rewritten, and sounds and lights on the reader indicate if all is OK. Details of the Oyster card's validity will be shown on the passenger and driver displays. Passengers who currently use annual or monthly bus passes or travel cards will be given an Oyster card in place of their printed ticket. Passengers with seven-day passes will have the option of transferring to Oyster card. But cash tickets, one-day passes and saver tickets continue with the current system. And we'll be introducing a new type of ticket that will only be available on Oyster card. It'll be called prepay, a pay-as-you-go pass. It works a bit like a mobile phone top-up card. Passengers will be able to buy travel value in advance, store it on their card, and as they use it, the value of the travel is deducted from the amount stored. Passengers will be able to use their Oyster cards on the buses and underground, on the Croydon tram link and the Docklands Light Railway. Passengers with travel cards will also be able to use Oyster travel cards at national rail stations in Greater London. And it's good news for drivers, too. Oyster cards will eventually replace many of the printed passes you currently have to cope with. It'll help reduce the cash you have to handle with all the security and inconvenience problems that involves. And with discounts for prepay, well, passengers will have a strong incentive to switch from paying cash. And that means when you pull into a crowded bus stop, passengers will be able to get on and off a lot quicker so they won't have to get irritated by people who can't find their money. If people do have problems with their Oyster cards, it'll be simple to sort them out. The problem will be explained on the passenger and driver's displays, and by pressing one button, you can get more information about what to do, which you can then print off and give to the passenger if necessary. So when does all this happen? Well, rollout to passengers happens shortly, but there'll be lots of testing and trials before then. Nobody's going to push this thing through before all the bugs have been ironed out. We've also got to train everybody involved in the handling, the issuing and the checking of Oyster cards. The final phase of the project, the conversion of Freedom Passes to Oyster cards, will be completed by spring 2004. So there you go, the Oyster system. It's coming soon, it's bang up to date and yet it uses well-proven technology. It should help to make everyone's lives more efficient and easier. After all, it's not rocket science. I was in Tokyo recently and their Suica system works perfectly well and there's no reason why ours shouldn't be just as successful. Oyster card, the smarter, faster way around London. Good luck with it. Oyster, the smarter, faster way to travel around London.